Christmas is almost here. Ha! I'm very unprepared, despite the fact that I'm hosting Orphan Christmas, which is friends and family in London come to us if they're not going to other family events or traveling over Christmas. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited to host it, but I'm very unprepared decoration wise, grocery wise, don't even have a Christmas tree yet, despite it being just under a week till Christmas. On top of all that, I've still got my boyfriend's Christmas present I need to finish purchasing. I think I know what I'm gonna get, but if it's not at the shop, we're in trouble. So fingers crossed for that. Luckily work gives a half day off um, for Christmas shopping, which I've allocated mine for today. I've just logged off of work, ready to go out. Um, annoyingly, I was gonna use this half day as a day to get some footage for some art that I wanna do for this video coming out, but we're out of time. So instead of an art video, we're doing a come with me while I shop and errands and try to set the house up for Christmas all before 4.30 when I have to go meet a friend for dinner. So it's a tight rush. I don't have any other time to do it. I could do a little few things actually on Saturday, but like I said, I also want to put out a video this week and tomorrow's my deadline for a weekly upload. So it's all a lot. It's all a lot, but we can do it. This is a two bird, one stone situation. So I'm gonna film as I go along to have stuff for a video, but also I've got a lot of Christmas related errands to run. So let's go. I have some great news. Part of a present I bought has arrived. Amazon's here to the rescue. And then the second half of the gift I need to get is at a store down the road, so. Let's go do that. Got it. Other things we're getting today, Christmas tree, present, and then I have to get all the, say all the, I don't have that many. I then have to get the Christmas decorations that I do have here out of the attic and set them up. Still too shy to properly film myself in public, but hell yeah. It is the cutest little shop and I want to buy everything from it. But specifically, these delicious smelling incense and little holder is what I'm getting. He's gonna love it. Mission successful. <laughs> then went to Tesco's to buy a Christmas tree and drum roll please. Here she is. There it is. The last one left. The saddest tree I've ever seen. Yikes. Well, okay. The question is where do we put this absolute delight? Getting there, taking the netting off was proving to be. Oh, that can look pretty. Oh, no. Difficult. It's not. It's so caught cool on everything. I don't know, guys. I don't know if there's any salvaging this. Ew. Okay, we need a brick to make sure the Christmas tree stands properly. And we need the rest of the decorations from the attic. So, up we go. Let's see what we have in here. These are from my parents before they left the country. A robin, a bunch of red roses, oh, whoa, red bows, another little robin. Bells, that's fun. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Reindeer ears. Santa hat, another Santa hat, and a lot 
of bells and crystals. Let's see what we can do. My hand is shaking from carrying that Christmas tree on the way here. Leaves to drop, but what if they don't? They they'll drop. This could be it. Could be it, folks. I didn't even say. Um, so this monstrosity was gonna set me back 25 pounds, but because it's so close to Christmas, and no one in their right mind is buying one this close to Christmas slash this ugly. I got it for £12.50. So, you tell me who's one. It doesn't really feel like me, to be honest. And our boy. He thought that turning off the lights would make it look cuter, but it looks more confusing than ever. Oh well. Christmas decorating complete. I'm taking this last peaceful moment on Saturday to finish off this video and do some sketching because even though it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, um, I'm not sure if anyone knows, but it was news to me, in London, all the public transport stops on Christmas day. So unless you're Ubering or taxiing, or you have a vehicle, you cannot get around the city. And so on Sunday, tomorrow, everyone's coming over and having a big old sleepover through to Boxing Day, um, which I'm really excited for but it does mean that everything's gonna be very loud and busy and hectic starting tomorrow. Um, so today, this afternoon, is a deep breath, it's a chill, relaxed one, and it was nice to be able to do some drawing. And especially this little festive piece, I wasn't really thinking I would have drawn much more than just sketching my sketchbook, but I came up with this little idea and it was just one of those drawings that in the evening just came together quite nicely in a satisfying way. There wasn't any pressure to have it be any particular standard. It was just fun, enjoyable. It has got me thinking a lot as we move into the next year about my style and about the subjects I like drawing and about what sort of pieces I want to draw and does that line up with pieces I would buy? It's, I don't know. I think I'm having a very retrospective time because it's Christmas and we're about to go into the new year, but it's just uh, something that I'm really wanting to have a serious think about because it would be nice to sell my art eventually. But I honestly feel quite lost about what my art would be, if that makes sense. Anyway, I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and I'll catch you soon.